let's see the basic commands in Linux. So we are logged in as a student and uh, which is a unprivileged account. Uh, there are different types of users. We'll see in the user management. And let's see uh, how to see the how to do a basic operations in Linux. So, so let's start. The first command is uh, how to check the date in your mission. Uh, basic date command and say list ls and uh, ls has a multiple variations in counts and commands so ls space minus l to show uh, the long listing of the files and uh, ls minus ld to show only the directories and uh, we can <coughs> ls minus ls space minus al this will show you the hidden files in your environment so here if any file is having a dot in front of the a file or a folder it is called uh, a hidden file so when you see ls command it will not be shown so to see the hidden files or folders it is ls minus l okay cool then now uh, we can set the date of course uh, date generally be, uh, will be managed by using a service called ntp okay and uh, let's see uh, let's create a file so creation of file can be done in two uh, multiple ways so clear is a command to uh, clear the screen and uh, let's create a file create to create a file we have a command called touch or we can use a command called vi and these are two different uh, files or uh, these are models of commands okay one is the suppose I don't have any file called uh, my project so I can say touch my project and if I say ls minus l it is just created my product and the size is 0 kb okay so and uh, so touch does the two jobs one is the uh, creating a 0 kb file and also it updates the timestamp okay so uh, if i want to okay let's say uh, if we have a, another file or folder we can we can do a touch for it that's the one way of doing things uh, and uh, another way is to use a vi command say vi since the my project file doesn't have any any file any data in that let's open it up and in that uh, we need to press I on your keyboard to enter into insert mode. This is the insert mode we are in. So we can say uh, via type or whatever the program you want to write or any document and press escape on your keyboard. Okay, the insert mode is gone. Then shift colon shift colon X. Okay. So here if I see the list of the again file then uh, it has this smart project has uh, uh, 12 characters Let's say I can add uh, 12 kb file uh, so I can open it up using a cat command this is to just to display uh, what is there inside of it okay and uh, we can see that suppose I have a very long file and uh, I want to see the list of all of all the contents on it say let's say let's see a file called uh, uh, we'll, we'll come we'll understand in future what what is the purpose of this file let's say etc slash pssw password so this is a having a details of the users in case I want to see slowly because this file is low I am not able to see the content maybe if it is having more than thousand lines we'll be having difficulty in seeing it so I can take and say uh, I can uh, do it into pipe so first thing is I can type less okay then uh, it will give you a control to scroll it down uh, that's a one way of doing things and uh, or else I want to search for a string which is inside of this file say uh, I, I want to search for a string called or ticket so what I do to cat etc pswd pipe grep rt kit okay 
So this grep command, what is the purpose of a grep is? It is a general regular expression syntax or general regular string processor, expression processor, general regular expression processor. Uh, it is a little bit advanced from now. So we will discuss, we will again visit this one. So we are just discussing how to select a, a string from the command line. Suppose if you have multiple entries on it, we can get that. Uh, that is the use of the grep. And we can do the counting of the uh, number of uh, full uh, number of the words and characters in a uh, in a file. So let's say uh, let's pipe it up. Let's uh, say that is the it is a PSWD and say uh, WC myself. Uh, this will tell uh, how many lines are there in a single file. And let's try this one. So WC minus L is the number of lines, and WC minus C is the two three one three. So here we need to understand a, a basic point about Linux. So here let's see. So there are something called as uh, Unix principles, and uh, what are the Unix principles? Is uh, first one take uh, everything is a file so the first principle is in uh, unix if you want to understand the from the down basics everything is a file i'll tell you what's the meaning of this one and uh, uh, small programs uh, string together are combined Alright, so what we are doing, first thing is the everything is a file. So what does this mean? Anything that is uh, related to anything that is your hardware is also a, a file. So anything hardware means uh, your CPU, memory, uh, hard disk and all the things or printer. So everything is considered as a file. So when we go to the uh, managing the or when you go into the system administration, we will see why we are calling it as a file okay so the second point is here we are uh, we are we are doing something called as piping so we, we take very small programs and we will combine it together to perform a large task so we do the piping so that's what we are doing in the uh, this area so if i want to uh, get the number of characters in a file what I'm doing I'm just doing a piping I'm not doing any I'm not using a big exe to do the job for me that's why so this command uh, this uh, the second principle here old school and uh, if you have observed it here there are no extensions for these files or as I didn't say uh, my project is a document or txt or whatever it is for uh, to find out what is the type of the file we have a command called so this is ASCII text so suppose if I want to see different type of files but I can go I can go to uh, slash bin and say type try to do uh, zcat file and uh, zcat in any any file what you want so shell script okay and uh, try to do uh, on this ones say we are config or any file so sometimes it says binaries and all this sort of stuff okay so this is to understand so in the regular world or in the gy uh, we have this option of uh, it is displaying with the, uh, the if it is a notepad it has it shows this a different uh, symbol if it is a ms powerpoint it shows with a different symbol so here we since we this is a gy mode uh, we use uh, this way only okay all right let's see how let's step out of this uh, home directory and see what else we have in the uh, linux code so uh, let's try to understand the file system of linux so here the slash is called the first directory under uh, linux so let's see here okay consider uh, this is your okay. okay. 
so this top level is called your slash so the difference is everything in uh, linux it is forward slash we use and uh, it tells that this is a forward slash and then here we have subfolders in this forward slash there are multiple multiple subfolders are there <clears throat> and each folder is having its own specific use case all right so this is a slash and uh, here we are, we are having these the subfolders like we saw in the uh, the for directory and let's try to understand what's the meaning of it so that it will be easy to uh, work on the uh, as a user management or in the to manage the files or folders or to do system administration or anything so this is the first hierarchy what we see so anything will start with slash uh, which is at the top and uh, uh, this is the slash root it is uh, nothing but your uh, root home directory so uh, in, a, in a operating environment in a business environment concert is your boss room and uh, nobody has privileges to go inside it and uh, the only root when he logs in he only can go into the folder or it is a super user okay and the slash home so slash home is a, a home directory for all the users uh, as a, as a, a one more time uh, if you take a corporate environment uh, it is just like the workspace for all the regular associates uh, except the boss so in it's a big open hall where everybody has a cube and they can then sit and work there so when you come to the office you'll go directly and sit your place okay we'll see in the file system also and uh, bin and sbin so these are the uh, two important directories uh, what is the bin means uh, regular binaries uh, where uh, any normal user will be able to execute it and sbin or the special binaries where root has the privilege to uh, execute it okay then slash etc it is the where you are all your configuration files are placed so you want to change any configuration in the system the first location to check is in the slash uh, sorry slash etc okay and uh, slash temp so where you need to where you are all the temporary files are uh, there the system does the calculation and it is being kept here and USR. So this is the third party software installation location where uh, and uh, we can install in slash OPTC also and uh, we are uh, we can uh, install the required here okay and uh, uh, slash port this is the where uh, your boot files are present on the Linux machine it is a slash boot and it is a, the file system will be of very small size in the under slash boot we will discuss when we'll come to the partitioning and here uh, that's why we don't go and do into slash boot and do any, any changes because if we do if you do any changes without knowing what exactly we're doing and it might happen that system doesn't boot. so understand what is inside and do it okay cool then slash dev so slash dev is about the all the devices in your machine where uh, uh, in, in, like I said uh, everything is a file so all your hard disk and everything is referred as a file in on this one and the slash var it is uh, predominant for uh, logs or else the, it can be used as a home direct or a document root or nothing but the website where it is hosted and uh, okay so this is all the about the file system and uh, we will we'll be seeing the one by one when it comes to here so let's see okay we are in slash bin uh, say ls minus l okay so, so first is let's go to slash ls slash so these are the folders we are seeing so we discussed about the important folders and uh, uh, we can create some more and uh, there are the some other folders will be there and uh, let's see about the slash pool This is your uh, the kernel lives here so don't try to well, this is the kernel what we are talking about vm linux and don't try to create a change anything because it will make it will make it a, a uh, what you call uh, kernel panic errors okay and uh, let's go to 
okay ls space slash home so this is right so here I'm, I have a user called student and the, because this only one account is there we have the user called student suppose if I create a user called uh, a user called student 2 again it will come here and let's try to list the contents of root so it says permission denied it means it is not allowed to enter into a boss chamber and let's try to see uh, slash var and uh, slash has been like this okay so here this is about browsing the file system and we can go into the folders but uh, we need to be very and the safest way to uh, learn linux is logging as a student or any unprivileged account so let me help you how to differ is so if i say id the command so the user id is 1000 so let's try to see what is the id of root so it is zero so that's the difference and uh, let's try to see okay, it is here okay so here the student the root is zero and from where it started and uh, it, it it stopped uh, it uh, say there is a difference between the from here the trickle users got stopped and again it has moved to 999 okay and then again it is moving to the higher numbers so any user so if you create if you see the user student account is created with a thousand then why i am not able to see the numbers in series maybe the 600 700 user ids so these are called here this is the simple difference is this student is having a something called as a shell slash bin slash bash but here it doesn't have a no login means if you present any student if a user is presented with a shell he can log into the machine if a user doesn't have a shell it says no login means it says that no no shell is available no. that's why these are all no logins so any no login user will be created between 0 to 999 user id so maybe there is a future there is some services will be installed so the, that's why they kept the uh, usernames aside or ids aside and uh, any login users will be created from top sir okay yeah great let's move to next topic so okay we have seen about the files and the file structure uh, let's see about uh, uh, creation of folders say mkdir mkdir is the command to create a folder say okay let's see where we are so pwd is my current working directory and this uh, complete name it starts with slash and we call it as absolute path name and if any any path that doesn't have a, a slash in front of it and the starting of it it's called a relative path so it will be useful for us to uh, move with, between the folders if you know the absolute path and relative path so here pwd so let me create a directory so test one okay and i can create multiple directories say uh, test two test three test four so it is possible okay we got the okay cool and if i want to uh, copy some file what i can do i can say cp uh, my project i want to copy it to say test 4 okay if i see test 4 content then it is showing my file so here i am not giving the absolute path it is a relative path it doesn't have a slash in front of it here you should be have a slash or else what is the other way i can uh, do is i can say uh, for example cp uh, slash home student and uh, say my project to test four so the both commands works fine so this is generally in a scripting environment we will be always referring to the absolute path when but when you are working in the uh, command line or doing administration then we will be doing the uh, relative path so which is an easy way and uh, say rmdir so i want to delete test one 
okay it is okay it is it is just deleted it test one and uh, if i want to copy something or move something so okay, we are done the copying if i want to move so mv uh, my project say to test two. okay and then yet yeah, the my project is not there it is there in the test two. okay cool then what i want to do is i want to uh, redeem this file okay say then the command is say mv my project to uh, my test project okay so this mv is used to move the files and as well as if it is in the if you have the from to and from destinations are different move the files if it is in the same folder it will rename the files okay next so when you are hello when we are doing the uh, management uh, user management or the file system management uh, we might be asked to do uh, multiple uh, tasks at a hand so we have something called as wild characters right. okay so what is this is these are nothing but the star and question mark so how to use this so let's say I want to list anything that is having te in front of it so instead of saying okay let's try okay I mean the other folder so that's why the command is dropped so ls minus n so here I'm, I'm getting the so let's see te ls minus n tes star or as ls T star it will show you the list of the projects so or else if you want to be more precise tst star so it will show you the folders which is having the uh, test okay you can do a recursive also so if you do ls minus l r capital r then we can do the recursive also and uh, the star means it is applicable to all the characters and then uh, a question mark it is a single character so it depends on the variation of the it is like a, a regular expressions what we use or which is generally uh, discussed in the shell scripting so it, it has a multiple usages instead of typing all the file name and we can create the or uh, we can use it uh, to select the files without specifying all the full name 